I guess since I was almost late yesterday, I have an obligation to do this. Good morning. Yesterday was kind of a weird uh, kind of mix up. I'm gonna try and avoid that as much as possible today. You know? Yeah, good thing. All right, we made it. We've got our coffee. We're all set and good to go. And uh, I may be shooting another wedding before I shoot the first wedding. That's a thing. We're gonna see how that turns out and plays out. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll see. No guarantees yet. There are no guarantees. Work. I think I need some gas. Well, that was a close one. There was about there was a dawn, a dawn, jeez, a doe and about eight fawns along the road, and I hope that guy doesn't get him. Okay, I think we're good. But like, man, I'm glad they actually stayed on the side of the road and didn't try to dart out in front of me. Some of them darted off the road, but the doe and her four fawns, three of her fawns, just stood there. But we made it. On the way home, I was thinking about a bunch of things, including like how the premise of creativity is all dark because a lot of creativity comes from outside of the normal realm of the normal person's mind. And that's why it seems as creative. And the one thing or one of the things that throws you out of that common realm of mind most commonly is very dark and deep and like secret, like not secret, but like depressive things, which is very interesting. That means basically that we're promoting depression in a roundabout way but not really because i think depression would trigger a means for creativity and expression but i don't think that we're saying hey go pre-depressed so you can be creative uh, they're just saying be creative but then you didn't they don't realize the anyways that was a random thought that was in my head um deer are close and we got it filled at 10 680 10 680 on friday what, Friday the 13th? Friday the 13th?